Hello and welcome to another vlog. Um, sorry that I didn't get time to upload a video yesterday. Um, I prepared some footage but I was, wasn't in a good place yesterday. Um, and I ended up going out for a run at like half past 12 this morning, like just after midnight. I was out to like one o'clock running up and down the street trying to burn some crazy off and just try and get myself into a better place. So I'm sure we're all suffering at different times um, and it's just important that we try and keep ourselves, our spirits lifted. So one thing I thought I would cover today is how I plan for the week given these um, troublesome times, let's call it that. Um, keeping things fresh and kids at home and things like that. So I thought I would go through with you what we do. Um, so here we go. This uh, I have this really useful planner on my fridge, which um, I keep up to date most of the time anyway, but it's obviously a lot fuller now that um, we're at home and not doing anything else. And I've also managed to put my food in there. So what I do on uh, generally a Saturday or a Sunday, I open my fridge and I see what's in there and I try and make a plan for the week. Um, that means I'm using stuff in my freezer. And I'm also using stuff in my cupboard. So I check through everything and I try and think of plan plan the meals. And then I can also decide exactly what it is I need to buy as I'm going along. Um, so that when I can do one food shop, job done. And I leave like little notes of what is um, what is spare in the freezer that I need to use the next week. So, um, I mean, my fridge is probably looking kind of sparse right now but it's got all the good stuff in it like my gin and my steak and my salad so um i will need to go shopping at some point but tonight we've got steak and tomorrow i'll be making a casserole with some beef stew and dumplings um so what we have is an allowance for my work for the boys to do school and just generally things that i want to do so every morning i look at this I make sure I put little reminders in my phone. And then when I'm hungry at lunchtime for work, I don't have to think about what I can do. I just come here and think, ah, today I'm going to make a ham and cheese salad. And off I go. And yeah, that's, um, that's my week planned. So I hope that gives you um, some inspiration as to what. So additionally, I make a plan for homeschooling. This isn't because I want to be really strict or anything. Uh, it's generally because the boys don't want to do anything. I can't often be bothered either after I've worked from seven till three and I'm a bit, now we got to, now I've got the struggle of doing homework with the boys. So um, I come up with a plan every week. I set aside two days, which I'm not going to do anything. Uh, so this week it's Good Friday because it's a bank holiday. So no schooling on bank holiday. And on Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, um, although it's not going to be very much different from any other day this time of year um, because of our situation. But um, yeah, so I plan the homework. So there it is. I managed to do the whole week planning. Um, and like I say, it's just a guide. I'm not going to stay, stay strict with it. Um, it's just to make sure that they're not doing too much, that they're not doing too little. And it just helps us um, think of things to do with them as well. So we've got Matt reading with me, Google Classroom. Cole can do that on his own. And the hub with his dad, Louis. Um, we've got maths in there. We've got English in there. We've... Um, We've got P in there. Uh, we've also got some of the extracurricular activities that they do, such as air cadets and scouts. Um, also watching a nature program on Disney. And then on the weekend, some gardening. That could be making something in the garden, clearing the garden, feeding the birds, just being outdoors, doing something. Um, and also a bit of cooking with me. And maybe we can do a little bit of extra time on the hub with his dad. Um, so that is our plan for the week i've put times so that's it my food's planned my exercise is planned and my homeschooling stuff is planned um so everyone's got something to do and i'm not saying we're strict with it and some days i fall out of 
think and but sometimes when I'm lost and I just don't know what to do with myself I find a plan works I can just look at my plan and think this is what I set out to do today go and do it and it helps so I hope I've given you some inspiration as to what you can do for your planning and uh, ways to help but if you um have any other tips for me or would like some more information on something that I've shown um just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you it's important that we do things that make us laugh as well and um something that we did uh yesterday was um let the boys play with the cardboard boxes from the um from the parcels that we'd had for the garden um the underwater feature and Louis loves a box. I mean, who doesn't love a box? Um, so they played in the front garden with boxes and there was this really funny, yet uh, he really got cold and decided that he wanted to put his slippers on. And um... <laughs> it's tough being a box. <laughs> I think he's going very all wrong. <laughs> Never mind. I do apologise that you have to look at this face, and I know I'm not looking my best. I'm not making any efforts at all, and I'm really sorry. I just don't want to sugarcoat this situation and make it look like everything's fine and dandy when, quite honestly, it's not. Um, we're all struggling, and I don't want anyone to think that. I'm not struggling, therefore they shouldn't be struggling. Um, we're all in this together, and it's pretty grim um but with that in mind let's lift our spirits a bit more do you remember that thing i think it's called um freedom where we could go and do stuff well i've got some memories of a trip a road trip that i did with the boys um last year maybe even the year before time flies i can't even remember like i don't even know what day it is i don't even know what year it is i just don't know what time it is um so here here's some footage of um Actually, it's Gilgrin, the Red Kite feeding station up in Ryada. And I would highly recommend it, but... Um... Sign. <laughs> Think it's the right way. What? Put it back the right way. Because I said, mean, like somebody might get lost. Look, Cole. Honestly. Okay.
I just decided that it's time for me to go. I'm going to sit in the garden and edit this video and enjoy the rest of my evening with actually no commitments other than to spend a little bit of time with Louis doing some um, math. But that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's a change from the garden. So um, have a nice evening, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you at tomorrow's vlog. Stay home, stay safe.